So we created a big wacky machine that was designed to transform one type of food into another. So doing a little skit at the opening session, we put Brussels sprouts into the back of the machine here and out of the front of the machine came donuts. So here's how we did it. Well, we only were using this machine for a few moments on the stage and we didn't really want to spend a lot of money on it. So we went through our maintenance area here at the church to find pieces and parts that looked industrial. And we just wanted to quickly put them together on a little cart, keeping in mind that once we were done with this, we wanted to be able to take it apart quickly and we wanted to be able to reuse all those parts for their original purpose. So in the back here, we have a little heating and air conditioning part, and the reason we used that is because it had a big hole in it that I could place an entire bag of frozen Brussels sprouts into uh, so that you wouldn't see it once I put it in the machine. Now the body of the machine are these two big green tubes here, and those are made up of two pieces of sono tube. Now, a sono tube is a large cardboard tube, and it's primarily used for concrete work. So you can pick these up at your big home improvement store, and we took two of these, we cut them to size, we taped the two of these together and painted them green. And so if you look closely enough at the joint, you can actually see that we painted right over top of the duct tape that we used to put these two things together. And on top of the tube that goes up and down, was just a vent piece that we found again in our maintenance area. So just kind of look around and see what you have and what might work well on this. Now on the side here in the front, we had a little timer that was laying around and it kind of looked like maybe it controlled the device. So we just put that in front here onto the side and I actually taped a little popsicle stick to it and that was our lever that turned the machine on and off. And again, just quick and easy way to uh, interact with the machine a little bit. Um, then this wrapped around the tube, we used some flexible electrical conduit. That's the metal stuff that you see um, kind of rolling around the tube there. It looked pretty cool. Now you may not have flexible electrical conduit so you could use something like a hose or maybe even the hose from your vacuum and just kind of wrap it around there something like that that would look great too and of course you know put it on the way so you can take it back off and put it back on your vacuum again so up here in the very front we used a little bit of foil tape we put that foil tape in a few other locations as well that just added a little decoration to it um, and so once we had this machine all together I rolled it out on stage really quickly um, I put the Brussels sprouts in the one side uh, pulled that little popsicle stick that was attached to the side of our timer device and the people in the sound booth helped us out They played a fun little sound effect that made it seem like a big machine was firing up and then boom Donuts came out the other end and what can I say the younger kids? Wow, they thought it was amazing and the older kids eh, They thought it was pretty silly, but everybody had fun and it was just a great way to add a little bit of humor uh, But also to introduce our topic for the day So have some fun use some things that you got laying around and uh, make a fun little food changing wacky machine <laughs>